Hello there and welcome back to the challenge. Welcome back to this Football Manager 2020 series with FC Barcelona. Um, today we are taking on Getafe in La Liga and then we've got the first leg of our Champions League last 16 tie with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, you see we start today on the development centre. Uh, I said in the last video that I was just going to show you a bit of the under-19s, maybe a bit of the Barca B before we go in as we are straight into matches. Uh, there's nothing really to catch up on. Um, so this is the uh, the youth candidates preview. Uh, it's it's a, what, around about a month away from, uh, from landing. Uh, so there are couple of green points. We don't have any positional shortages in the future youth intake. One of our defensive midfielders has the potential to go far. And we've got one good young Spanish defensive midfielder from Vilda Cans who has caught the eye, which presumably is the one who has the potential to go far. Um, there's a lot of yellow. The biggest issue here is don't expect much from this youth intake. Now, last season's youth intake was really poor as well. Um, and that has led me to the decision that this young man, Patrick Clivert, despite his attributes, isn't great. Um, you can see his knowledge of Spain isn't amazing, and it has led me to think that his contract is up at the end of the season. He ain't going to be employed by the club anymore. We have a few on our staff, sh staff shortlist that I'm looking at. I, I'm going to continue to look for a good uh, replacement. What we do have in the under-19s is um, a new manager. And he is a very, very good young manager as well. Now, our other manager, Fran Artiga, he got poached by a Segunda Division club, a Segunda B, I think, uh, Tondela. Uh, so we had to get a new one in. And we've got this guy in. Now, Imanal de la Sota, he was, we got him from Athletic Club. Um, he's phenomenal uh, man management, motivating, um, working with youngsters. He's just an amazing young um youth manager and when we hired him it said that he has the um the ability to bring kids through which is exactly what i needed so if i could partner him with a decent uh, youth development head of youth development we should be looking a little better going forward um the under 19s the squad themselves we haven't got many players because they're all out, out on loan to be honest so we haven't got loads of players and despite that they are still absolutely killing it in their uh, in their under 19s group. Um, which group are they in? Um, let's have a quick look. They're top of it. Um, scroll up, scroll up. Are they in group three? They are. There they are. Uh, one defeat this season. They didn't lose a single match in any competition last season as they won their treble. Um, this season, look at that. 82 goals, five conceded in 23 matches. Still absolutely killing it. One thing I did want to show you as well was Barca B, who are also top of their Segunda Division um, group. Segunda B, should I say, group. Uh, they're in group two. They are currently 11 points clear, although there are teams of the game in hand below them. But just absolutely smashing it. They've just beaten two Delano 6-0. I, incidentally, just watched them cream Yagostera 4-0. And I, I've got to... I've got to show you the goals. Ilash Mariba scored two. Um, Jaume Jardi and Gerard Peque got the others. But oh, Ilash Mariba's two goals. One was a free kick. One was a volley from 25 yards. They were sun absolutely superb. Um, I promise we will get into the game. This is Mariba's first brilliant free kick. I mean, look how far out that is. 30-odd yards. Um, then we got another goal. We had one ruled out as well. Um, Altamira crossed this one in for Jaume Jardi to head in at the back post. Uh, Peke had already had one disallowed for offside at this point. Uh, Altamira, promising right back, gets another assist for Peke. And then the pick of the bunch scored in the second half here as Mika Marmol plays it out to Jardi. And watch this from Ilash Mariba. Bang. What a hit that is. Absolute stunner. Um, he is, in fact, I believe, starting. I think I've got him in the starting lineup for today's match against Hetafe. So, as I say, we are going to be taking on Hetafe and um, Wolves today. We are now two points clear. Real Madrid have played, they've won. Atletico Madrid played in midweek, their game in hand away at A bar, and they drew 1 1. So, it is very much advantage us in, the, uh, in La Liga now. So, we are making some changes for this game against Hetafe. Uh, Neto's coming in goal. Uh, Jorge Cuenca at the back. I've changed the entire midfield three. Carlos Elena, uh, Sergio Busquets and Ilash Mariba are playing. Um, and 
Uh, we've got Lataro in up top um, because Griezmann, I'm going to give him a rest for one. Uh, secondly, just picked up a little knock in midweek. He has recovered from it, but we're going to give him the rest for this game. We've got Ansu Fati coming back from uh, as well. He can play as a striker, so I might give him 20 minutes at some point during the match, um, either for Olmo or for Martinez. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I mean, this this team should still be winning, to be honest. It should still be um, enough to beat Hitafe. So we are just going to calmly say, um, I expect nothing but a win to keep it, keep, keep it going. Uh, if, if anything, that midfield might be a little bit light. Um, Sergio Busquets provides a phenomenal protection and experience. Um, but I think we've got enough to do it. I really do. Um, Ilas Mariba is not amazing at the box to box, but he can do it. The attributes are great. He's just not accustomed to the role. So hopefully, though, he will put in a good performance there. We do have Bruno Fernandes on the bench. That's not a massive issue. Um, let's just get through that as quick as we can. The tunnel interview. And we are good to go at the Coliseum. Alfonso Perez in southern Madrid. We are the only game going on a win. Puts us in a huge... Uh, position we really should be winning this game as well I mean we've still got Leo Messi we've still got Danny Olmo up front um, behind Lautaro as well um, we've got Kim Pembe, Puj, Fernandez on the bench Frankie de Jong as well if we need to hopefully I can give some more game time to our new star Wanda as well um, if things are going pretty well as Kukurea looks to play that ball in but Jordi Amat will clear Jaime Mata plays it forward and it could be a chance here for Hetafe. It is a chance for Hetafe and a good save from Neto. That will give him confidence. He's pulled off a really, really good save. He's, I think this is his fourth league game of the season um, and he's pulled off a brilliant save. So that will give him a lot of confidence. His fitness is really struggling at the minute because, uh, you know, obviously Edison's been playing every match. So... Um, it was good. It's a good game to give Neto a chance as Lautaro steals that and is in. It's a good save. It'll be a corner. Good chance now then from the set piece. Messi to take. Whips it in. Cleared away. Will the highlight keep going or is that it? Alenia to Sergio Busquets. Oh, and Aaron Barry has stolen it off Busquets. And oh, that's not a good challenge from Ricardo Pereira. Doesn't get booked. Right, we need to do a little demand more here because and it, 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 it's tough because I've made quite a few changes. I've made more than I would normally like to make uh, because it can lead to disjointed performances like it seems to be doing already here. Um, but we've got a really good squad. We've got a lot of players that need game time. Jorge Cuenca for one. Uh, Carlos Alenia as well really desperately needs game time. Ilash Mariba is just a really good looking player. As Danny Olmo comes forward. He shot his block but Messi dances his way through. Oh and what a save that is. As Messi danced through but the keeper has pulled off a worldie to deny the goat. And his corner is headed away by a cheetah. Oh that was so so unlucky. Um... David Soria with the save. That was brilliant. I'm going to drop a little get creative in there. It's not a classic, which isn't a problem, as long as we get the win. It's not about the performance at this stage. It's about the points. Uh, let's get the ball back here. We do. Ilash Mariba now. Good calm possession. Alenia, lovely ball to Danny Olmo. Plays it back for Messi on the volley. Oh, it hit the post, didn't it? Hit the bottom of the post and went wide. When we do attack and get shots away we're looking absolutely fantastic we're just not doing it enough we're not dominating as much as we should be um, and I am probably going to have to say that we're disappointing at half time if, especially if Hetafe score here we're going to have to definitely strip the, pa the paint off the walls um, let's play through Jaime Mata brilliant save again from Neto I was half expecting the flag to go up there um, but Neto has pulled off a superb save again um, and Mariba heads the corner away at the near post Paulinho plays it down for fire and yeah that's offside this time um, yeah we're going to have to kind of say that we're not happy here um, assertively oh we can still win this keep working hard and it will come didn't really work out as I wanted to there um, and we will passionately now say you weren't that bad 
We'll go the other way then. Let's G them up instead of tell them off. Um, because, like I say, when we when we have put moves together and we have crafted a goal scoring chance, it it's been lovely to watch. It really has. But with Atletico playing after us, we need to get the win here. Uh, because obviously we go to the Wanda very, very soon. As, oh, Alenius fired it over. What a chance that was. We had a couple of opportunities in there. I think Lautaro got the first one. And then Alenia fired it over the bar. Um, and it is just not happening. Um, right, we're going to get a little bit annoyed now. Just say show some passion right as a highlight kicks in. <laughs> Here's Ricardo Pereira. Carlos Alenia, lovely ball looking for Olmo. Pulls it back to Kukurea. Played into space. It's going to drop for Danny Olmo. 20th of the season for Danny Olmo. It's 1-0. Messi gets the assist. Finally, we have broken the resistance of our hosts. Uh, Olmo to Kukurea. This is a really good ball from Kukurea. Really disappointed that Ilash Mariba wasn't breaking in there to get on that. But doesn't matter. It's ended up in the back of the net. And that is all that matters. This is a great pullback from Kukurea. Right to the penalty area. If Ilash Mariba had continued his run, I reckon he could have got a goal there. Um, and the show some passion has gone through as well. Um, Right, I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to change both wingers because I want them for Wolves, both of them. Um, I mean, Ansu Fati can play against Wolves; that's not a major issue. But actually, ah, oh, do I take Leo off yet? I'm going to bring. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't really want to do anything, um, but I really need to. Um, mm, 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 mm. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Wanda can come on for Messi. Um, Ilash Mariba can see the game out, I think. I might bring Carlos Alenia off for Ricky Pooj. Give Pooj some game time. And then we'll just leave that other one. Because, as I say, Ansu Fati could play against Wolves. It wouldn't be a massive problem. Um, I would like Danny Olmo, though, to be honest. Because he's back. He's back to his best all of a sudden again. As Wanda immediately in the action now as he intercepts. He's lost the ball and then won it back and then lost it. And eventually loses it. But the team keep it. <laughs> Here's Mariba. Ricky Pooj. Busquets and Pooj combining. Forward for Danny Olmo. Pooj looks for Wanda out on the right. Pulls it back nicely to Ricardo Pereira. Wanda again. Gives it to Pereira again. N whips it into the near post. Lataro shot is blocked. Don't know why that was a highlight. Don't know why that was a highlight. Um, right, Danny Olmo can come off then and we will give Ansu Fati a good 20 minutes, including stoppage time. Good little run out up against a tired defence and we will just drop a little demand more in there. Why has Lautaro got a 5.6? He hasn't... What, why? Why? How has he got a 5.6? What's he done? What has he done wrong? Like, I don't get that. I really don't get that. Um, as Pooj loses out to Aaron Barry. Don't get an equaliser now. Oh, Jaime Mata's in. Oh, God, I thought that was going in there and it went into the side netting. Um, I'm still shocked from Lautaro's rating. I mean, if he'd missed a penalty or something like that, I could understand it. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's done wrong. That we obviously we haven't seen it in the key highlights, um, but I'm going to get questions about that now, aren't I? In the in the conf, in the press conference, unless he scores here, but we've lost out again. Sergio Busquets recovers possession in midfield. Jorge Cuenca now for Mariba. Sergio Busquets, Pooj. It's good possession again, and now we break with Kukurea. Pulls it back for Ansu Fati. Kukurea, Ricky Pooj, two 0 Ricky Pooj off the bench and who was offside? Oh, for the love of God, how are you giving it offside when it's gone straight in? That's ridiculous. That is not off. If, the, if it comes back off the keeper or the post and Lautaro puts it away, then yeah, it's offside. But not when the. Oh, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But amongst all that, we have won. Um, but I'm going to say we weren't good enough. And I don't care, Mark, if you look stressed. We weren't good enough. 
Let's take a quick look then at Wolverhampton Wanderers, our Champions League opponents. Um, so last season they finished third in the Premier League. They are currently seventh in this season's competition, but they are, well, probably very, very unlikely to catch Arsenal now in fourth, but could still get a Europa League spot. Um, they came through a fairly tough Champions League group that included Bayer Leverkusen, Napoli and Spartak Moscow came through it unbeaten and only conceding two goals as well. So they, they are going to be tricky. Um, they've drawn 1-1 one, one at Anfield so far as well. Um, they did lose to Blackburn in the FA Cup fourth round. Uh, it looks like they're already out of the League Cup as well. Yep, lost to Luton at home. Wow. Um, in terms of their squad, I mean, it's... It's, it's, it's going to be a good squad. They've still got Ruben Neves. Uh, Raul Jimenez is their top scorer by the look of it. Adama Traore is unregistered. Oh, he's out on loan. Um, former, obviously, used to play at Barcelona. 33.5 million. And yet he is uh, on loan to Lecce. Wow. Um, it, it's... Look. It's, it, we should be putting this to bed in the first leg if we're being brutally honest here. We really should. Um, so we have made changes. Obviously, Edison's back in goal. Jordi Alba and Presnel Kimbembe are back in defence. The whole midfield has been changed. And Antoine Griezmann is back in uh, up front. Uh, Ansu Fati, I'm wondering about getting him in on the bench again. But I'll, I'll probably put him in for Wanda, to be honest, I think, for this one. Um, and we will go forward with that. It's a very, very strong team. The only injury we have is Daniele Rigani. Um, incidentally, just got a little news item in the build-up as well to the match. That our technical director, he's 75. He's retiring. Um, not really any surprise there. He's a septuagenarian. So that is another little thing that we have to do in the summer, as well as getting a new head of youth development. We also need a new technical director, which, as I say, not a massive problem. Um, I'm going to now calmly say we're favourites for a reason which hasn't gone down particularly well. So we will G them up with a passionate, I want to see a good performance. And that hasn't gone down well either. Oh, God. Um, we'll go out and do our jobs. Ruben Neves, he is a very, very good player. You've chosen to leave Sergio Busquets out. It's whatever. Doesn't matter, does it? Um, Jordi Alba's versatility. Yeah, you can play at left back or at left back. Um... We do have one more game going on. Benfica are taking on Lyon. So we will obviously keep an eye on that because the potential opponents in the quarter-final should we get there. Um, Champions League nights always special, aren't they? Especially if you can get the win. Um, here we go with our first highlights. A free kick for Gerard Piquet. Whips it out to Danny Olmo, who's got a bit of space already. Oh, and he's gone in. Third game in a row that Danny Olmo has scored. And he is fully back on form now after his little struggle to get back to form from a, a not a long injury layoff. But he's just smashed that one. Oh, he's gone straight through Patricio. Oh, that is poor from the veteran goalkeeper. But what a dream start for us. And it could get even better here. We've got another highlight. It's Danny Olmo again. He's gone past Jao Moutinho. He's gone past Matt Doherty. He's hit one. And Patricio, with stronger wrists this time, tips it over the bar. But Danny Olmo, who's just signed a new contract with us as well, because Paris Saint-Germain was sniffing around him. They still are. But what I have done is we've managed to raise his release clause from 143 million to 166. So, you know, look, I don't want to lose him. And I won't sell Danny Olmo. But if they want to trigger his release clause, have at it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's one of those things. As Olmo puts that in, and Messi heads it in, and Danny Olmo is absolutely running this match right now from that left wing. And Leo Messi, he's only his twelfth goal of the season. Wow, that is shocking. That is bad. Um, Danny Olmo is eclipsing Leo Messi this season. He's what's he on now? Twenty one, I think. Danny Olmo. Messi only on twelve. Wow. Um, doesn't matter though, we are 2-0 up, it's the team that matters, that is all that matters, Leo Messi is still the GOAT, still 0-0 in Lisbon for Benfica, and Steven Bergwijn, he is still there, oh, might have to have a look at him, I don't think I'd be signing him, but he's just scored, and they lead in their own stadium, first blood to the home teams then in both games, as Griezmann dances past Lovren, whips the ball across, oh, and Messi's in, oh, and again, 
Denied a wonderful goal by a brilliant save. We saw it against Hetafe. It's happened again here. He's been denied a brilliant goal um, by a by a spoil sport goalkeeper, who who obviously these goalkeepers hate football. <laughs> um, what a goal that would have been again. The way he plucked it out of the air and just when I, I, the thing I love most about Messi is that just that lazy finish, where it just it, it just looks so easy for him as he just passes it past the goalkeeper. Um, it looked for all the world most of the time like goalkeepers should be saving it easily and yet it somehow time and again just finds its way into the back of the net um, just the way it makes football look so so easy and has done for a decade and a half that is why he's the GOAT and that is not a good challenge I think they're going to be down to 10 Johnny Otto is sent off they are down to 10 and they are really up against it now Wolves we really should be putting this one to bed before we head to the black country Messi whips his free kick in oh and the header comes off the bar from PK but it was offside it doesn't uh, wouldn't have counted anyway um, I'm just going to calmly no I'm going to assertively say they are a man down don't let your performance levels drop that's gone down brilliantly don't need to do anything else uh, Frankie de Jong's not having a great game um, considering oh man, we're not dominating mid possession 50% basically um might just drop a little demand more into my midfield three to be honest oh i've just done it to the whole team ah oh, i've just did it to the whole team oh well never mind it's not gonna hurt is it um two nil up we're not we've got like five days this is on a tuesday our next game which will be in the next video is against Leganes, um and that's not till a sunday so i don't need to worry about preserving players um i will give Ansu Fati a run out I probably will give Lautaro some game time as Messi comes forward again here oh ho, ho, that was inches again from Leo oh god um, yeah I might even bring um, yeah oh we've got a highlight I was going to say I might even bring Jorge Cuenca on give him some game time at the back uh, just just substitutions for the sake of it really as Jordi Alba plays it forward Danny almost smashes it Rui Patricio again with the save um, we are doing well considering we haven't got much of the ball as De Jong and that's going to be offside from Griezmann that is going to be offside that's not even don't think that's even close that one Griezmann was clearly offside it's a shame because it's a good hit from De Jong um, yeah he was half a yard off um, it's a shame that is a shame um, two nil, and it's not quite finished ahead of that second leg, is it? Definitely would like another goal. Um, right, what shall we do? I am going to give PK a bit of a rest, so we're going to go with two left-footed centre backs, which is unusual. But uh, you know, uh, Griezmann can stay on. Danny Olmo can come off for Ansu Fati. Um, Messi can play the full 90 it's not going to matter um, it's going to have to be Frankie de Jong that comes off, he's having a shocker Frankie de Jong can come off and again um, I think we'll give it to Ricky Pooj I was just thinking Bruno Fernandes there but Ricky Pooj just needs that little bit of game time he's just that sharpness is just off a little bit as the 10 men have got themselves an away goal amazing their first shot on target and it goes in what a surprise what a surprise good delivery from Gibbs White then Donker with the header and we are dropping a show some passion in here what are you playing at they have played over half the match with 10 men and we are not making this count at all we're going to go to Molyneux and it's going to be a very uncomfortable night at the moment I'm going to notch it up to attacking for the last 10 minutes see if it makes any difference whatsoever played out from the back here come on we should be getting that oh they've broken the initial press Matt Doherty to Gibbs White they're going to Rafa Mears in and probably should have been 2-2 probably should have been 2-2 we should have put this to bed this is not good enough this is a bit like the Valencia game in the Copa del Rey um, where we're going to the Mestalla with a 2-1 scoreline even now 3-1 I wouldn't be 100% confident um, 
as Griezmann plays it across. Ansu Fati, Puj, Roberto. This is nice play, though. Jordi Alba gets past one, whips it across. Oh, Messi. Oh, he's just missed chance after chance tonight. That one's clipped the bar and gone over. Oh, this one should be done. I mean, we've only had seven shots on target out of 17. But we've been so, so close with a couple of them. And that, I am sorry, we are going to say... Um, we weren't good enough. That really was not good enough at all. And has made the second leg unnecessarily nervy. Um, but it's good for the channel, I guess. Um, because both the semi-final of the Copa del Rey and that Champions League tie now are still very, very much alive going into the... Um, into this into the second legs um right that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching remember watch like share subscribe jump in the comments jump in the description um we're straight back in in the next video leganes at home and that second leg of the semi-final against valencia as well um and then after that um it, it's actually no change of plan i've just noticed it's going to be Valencia and Atletico. I've just realised we're playing Atletico straight after Valencia. It's got to be that. It's got to be those tr two trips on the road. So I'll do the Leganes one off camera. Back for Valencia and Atletico. That is huge. That is huge. Um, so yeah, join me for that please. I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Adios amigos.